Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get the Lincoln Town Car key replacement in case you lost all your keys or just want to have a spare set. In addition, I will go over key replacement cost, types of keys, coding information and some great tips to save you a lot of time and money. Before we start, we would really appreciate if you can like this video and of course if you need any help you can contact us 24-7 and we will connect you with a locksmith near you. So, Lincoln Town Car has two types of keys. One is a transponder key or chip key and the other is a non-transponder key. Both of them have a regular ignition which you actually have to put the key in the ignition and turn to start the vehicle. Between 2003 and 2015, we have a transponder key with part number H92PT. And between 1998 and uh, 2002, we have a transponder key with part number H72PT. Both of these keys must be coded on site with a spatial machine. Now, important note, uh, Lincoln and Town Car models older than 1998 use a non-transponder key H75 or H60. We suggest you contact a mechanic in case you need a replacement key for uh, these models. Now it's time for tip number one. There are many different key fobs and transponder keys that look exactly the same. However, they have a different chip value inside them. And if you get the wrong key, you get the wrong chip. Wrong chip and you will not be able to start the vehicle. So always remember to provide the locksmith or dealer either the exact year making model of your car or the VIN number and the type of key you had. For example, 2015 Lincoln Town Car Transponder Key. Now let's go over the Lincoln Town Car Key Replacement Cost. You have three options to get a key replacement and the price varies depending on where you get the new key. First, get a key online and then have a locksmith or dealer cut and program it for you. Second, call an automotive locksmith who can come and make you a key and code it on site. And third, tow the car to the dealer. Online, you can buy it for about $10 and including cutting and coding, you should pay total about $180. A locksmith should charge you about $200 for on-site service at your location and the dealer about 250. The following is very important to remember. While some keys can be coded without a spatial machine, it is not the case here. Therefore, if you decide to buy a key online, you will have to contact either the locksmith or dealer to do it for you. You cannot do it yourself. Before we continue, a quick word about a spare set. Making an additional key when you already have a working key is much cheaper and faster. Therefore, we highly recommend getting two keys in case you lose all your keys, as the second key should cost less than half. Now, some tips to save you a lot of time and money. First, call a few locksmiths, get a few quotes. This is very important, as some locksmiths are very busy on a given day and some aren't. Use it for your advantage. Second, try to call a few companies, even if they are not located right next to your location. Most locksmiths offer a mobile service, sometimes up to 30 mile radius. So even though the business address might be far from you, they might be helping the customer right next to you. Do your research, it will pay off. Third, try to schedule an appointment, if you can wait a while. Most locksmiths would prefer to give you a 10, even 15% discount if you can wait while they finish another job. This way, it can work out for everybody. You get a discount, they get a job. Ask for it. Don't be shy. Finally, just like a mortgage, try to negotiate. If you find a better quote, tell them. Who knows, maybe they will give you a better one. For more great tips, you can visit our blog post about car key replacement cost. That's it. I hope you liked this video and would really appreciate if you can give us um, the thumbs up. And thanks a lot for watching.